Hey everybody, welcome back to Hard Playing Productions. Tico and I are excited to be here today for another great video. Today we're going to be talking about the new to you wind tamer. So if you haven't seen this yet, or if you've seen it in some of my other videos, I'm going to talk all about it today and let you know how it works. Don't forget, if you haven't already right now, go ahead and subscribe and hit the notification button. So let me get these out of the oven. This is my Gosney Dome. Here's the wind tamer. And you've seen, maybe if you're new to the channel, you haven't seen this, but if, if you are not new, you've seen my flame tamer by new to you also. So this basically is a kind of a two piece thing that for those who already have the flame tamer, the wind tamer is a great addition to this. And if you don't have either, I'll put links below so you can look at both and I'll put the review um, video of this one also. Like always, it's crazy hot here. I'm out here early in the morning because it's only about 86 degrees now. If I wait any longer, it's gonna be too hot. A lot of people have reached out to me and asking me about the flame tamer, if it would help prevent the flame from blowing out when it's really windy outside. And yes, it does. But there are some extreme cases, and it's even happened to me before. It seems like every time I try to make pizza, it's either crazy hot or, or crazy windy out. And a lot of people who have food trucks and things like that and do pop-ups have asked me what they can do to help prevent wind from blowing out the flame. So the flame tamer is kind of one step in the right direction. I found it does help. You can kind of turn it and angle it a little bit to help reduce the wind from blowing it out. But new to you, gave me this to test out a few months ago already, but I've been kind of testing it in various conditions. I wanted to get a really good test to see if it really worked and how I felt about it. So this kind of goes on the side of it too to help block even more wind. So I'll zoom in and show you how it all fits together. Okay, I've zoomed in a lot. Hopefully you can see it. I'm gonna show you how the flame tamer goes in first. So the flame tamer just slides right in. You need to make sure you have the metal cap when you're using the gas. This is goes right along that metal burner cap so you angle that slide it right in over top of that cap like that and then you take the wind tamer with the curved angle of the front and you place this right up like this straight up against it like that hopefully you can see this now so there's the flame tamer and here's the wind tamer like i mentioned it just slides right in there like that I'm gonna try it one more time from a different angle. It's hard to see in there. Again, you put the flame tamer in first. Then this goes in with the flat side in. And it goes right on the edge like that. We'll do it one time out here on the table. I don't... So with the way the sun is and stuff, I still have my doubts if you can see. So let's pretend this is the burner inside the oven. This is the flame tamer by new to you. So you slide this in first, see how it fits right around there. You put the wind tamer with the flat side against here. So it's like this, it goes just like this. So that's how it's gonna fit in the oven. This is the back, this is the left side, this is the front, and this is the side that's facing kind of the pizza stone. Does that make sense now? benefit of having the logo like that is that when you're lighting the burner you can it helps you make sure that the the pilot lights lit and the burners lit too so this is basically the angle you see from the outside of the oven the winds coming in this way it really does help prevent the flame from blowing out Perfect. Like I say, the flame's still on low. 
The oven's just at a little bit over 600 degrees right now. Like I mentioned, the stone, I waited till it was at 600, then I turned it to low. The pizza's doing fine. It's been about nine minutes. Oven's still holding at 530. I'm gonna turn it just a little bit. Oh yeah, getting much crispier. I'm gonna turn it just a bit. You can see that. One of the main reasons I wanted to wait to test out the wind tamer for when I was doing a thin crust or a New York style is because of the much longer cook time. Right now it's going on about nine or 10 minutes. So you really need to assure that the flame stays lit, especially at the low, when you have it on the low setting, the flame's just barely burning. So I wanted to make sure as of right now, 10 minutes in, there's been no issues at all. There is quite a bit of wind today. Right now it's actually calmed down. So, so far so good. You can see even on low, the flame is still burning nice, not even flickering at all. Here's the quick look at the pizza. Let's take a little look. Oh yeah, getting much crispier now. The outside's getting nice and charred. It's been just about 14 minutes. I think that is good. Look at that. Crispy on the top. Let's take it over here. Here's the crunch. Pretty good, nice and crunchy on the bottom. I love how the cheese, the kind of that char on the cheese makes it super crunchy on top too. So in conclusion, I think the wind tamer did what it was supposed to do. Today it kind of, it wasn't crazy windy like it has been in the past, but I had the oven running for over, well almost two hours probably in total and I didn't have any issues with the flame flickering. I did a thin crust uh, pizza today so I had the burner turned all the way down to the lowest setting which is typically where I've had issues in the past and today I didn't have any issues so in that aspect I think it did work on Amazon I think it's around $49 for the wind tamer I'll put a link below in the description so if you live somewhere where you're having it's very windy conditions kind of on a regular basis I think it's probably worth spending $50 to have the wind tamer if you live somewhere where it's not too bad I think maybe just having the flame tamer and turning it a little bit would probably do the trick. So again, if you've had issues with wind, it's probably lo worth looking into. I would give it a shot for $49. It's not too huge of an investment. And I think it, it probably will make an impact and make your overall cooking experience better if you're having issues with wind blowing your, your flame out. Thanks again for watching. Have a great day. So to have this work, this is the Wayne, the Wayne tamer.